Jazz is a project that forms part of our creative engagement programme. We first delivered it in 2019 and it came as an initiative that was a response to a lot of what we were hearing around the sector and a lot of what we know which is that there is a real underrepresentation and an underserving of women in jazz and so part of what we have at the core of our festival is a push to make sure that access is there, the opportunity is there, the projects exist where people can really find something that matters to them and they can get involved. We delivered it first in 2019, artist and band leader Kati Kenoshi, who arranged a suite of new music and we then brought the participants on board. We performed that on the Claw Ballroom at the South Bank Centre. <laughs> So this year it worked a little bit differently. Again, Cassie has arranged a suite of new arrangements. All of these are songs that are celebrating uh, female composers, female artists, female band leaders, and the group of women who were recruited, came to rehearsals, learnt this music in a really kind of fast-paced and intense environment. It was absolutely incredible. The sound that they make is, is just so wonderful. And then the idea was that we would bring them together in a concert hall setting like we did at, at King's Place and have them perform and be filmed uh, with the intention that it would be premiered live in the EFG London Jazz Festival for 2021. So let's just start again. That sounds really sick. And um, before we break it down so that you can get the rhythms and the notes, we're just going to move on to the B section so we can get yeah. that. As an artist, it's important for me to run or lead or be a part of projects like this, mainly because I find it so important to pass on information, pass on knowledge and work with people in the arts to just educate people and like maintain that community sense that I feel needs to exist in jazz music. As an artist, I think it's important that projects like this exist because it's really nice to have an environment that kind of creates a community of people that are familiar to you and you can look up to them and kind of see yourselves in them and therefore relate to them and it makes it kind of an empowering place to be and it makes it a bit more comfortable to thrive and to be confident and I think um, to become the best artist you can be um, one of the most important parts is to be confident. As a musician, I think it's very important for projects like this to exist. London is full of great musicians, especially women, and opportunities like this bring us together and we create music and we make contact and we network with each other, which is great. So I'm glad for this workshop and I'm very grateful for the series to organise it. As an artist, I think it's really important that projects like this exist because if you look at the figures, the kind of 
disparities between how many men and how many women there are, especially jazz instrumentalists, is just crazy. And you know, throughout a lot of the music industry in general. So I think it's so important that you know we are proactive about trying to change those figures. It doesn't happen overnight. Just being here, you know, we're building friendships. We're able to give advice, pass over contacts, suggest jams to go to, just share all of our knowledge with the next generation, build those connections, and you know, hopefully start to change things in a meaningful way. equal representation in jazz I think we need to do more projects like this so where we're introducing young people to jazz performing behind the scenes so they can see that it's a viable career path and they can see what it's like to be part of that kind of world and also getting to that point where you don't have to don't have to mention the gender of the player or the performer or the composer at all in any of your kind of workshops or any of your performance spaces let's just play through Pontagy area, top to bottom, uh, without the voters, I think that's fine. So all of the notes I've said and that we've collectively said on all of the other tunes, dynamics, cutoffs, playing to the room. You can play louder, okay, but playing down when you need to and being aware of your role in the ensemble and in the harmony.